Hi, it's Kerry. This video is for viewers age 13 plus. Panda. Each panda confines its activities to a home range of about four to six square kilometers. These home ranges substantially overlap. A large scent gland located just below the tail and surrounding the anus is used to leave olfactory messages for other pandas. Females increase their scent markings and become more focal when sexually receptive. There is intense, aggressive male competition. The males will lunge and swat, grabbing at each other's neck. The male will then stay close to the female and charge at any intruders. Male giant pandas have one of the smallest penises relative to body size in the animal kingdom. The female lowers her front end, arches her back down and raises her tail end up so the male can get in position. She then has to push back on him. Once copulation is complete, they let out bleating noises. Please subscribe and turn on notifications. Hippo. The dominant bulls, which are usually more than 20 years old, initiate most of the mating. They monopolize areas in the river as mating territories for 12 years or more. Subordinate males are tolerated if they do not attempt to breed. The cows gather in these areas during the dry season, which is when most mating takes place. Rare battles may erupt when strange bulls invade territories in the mating season. The male hippos make dung piles along pathways leading inland which probably function as olfactory signposts or scent markers at night. Hippos recognise individuals by scent and sometimes follow one another nose to tail on night treks. Males are usually three and a half metres in length and stand one and a half metres tall and weigh three and a half tonnes. Giraffes grow to nearly their full height by four years of age but gain weight until they are seven or eight. The tail may be a metre in length and has a long black tuft on the end. There is also a short black mane. The giraffe selects leaves with its prehensile lips or tongue and pulls them into the mouth. If the foliage is not thorny, the giraffe combs leaves from the stem by pulling it across the lower canine and inside the teeth. The tongue and inside of the mouth are coated with tough tissue as protection. Tiger. Most of the tiger's kills involve 100% surprise and not actual fighting. Any wounds suffered in a fight are relatively catastrophic and could result in death and are capable of fighting standing up on their hind legs and have good leverage once reared up to both block and strike. Once the prey is on the ground, the tiger can use its rear paws for 
digging into the belly while the front paws remain available to swipe. The alpha male lion's main purpose in life is not hunting but to protect the pride and mate with the females of the pride. A lion is intimidating to look at. Their automatic response when confronted by a large predator will be a fight to the death, especially if the pride is under threat. Lions rely on their teeth as a primary weapon and then make attacks with their claws. Lions are quite tall at the shoulder and have strong shoulders, increasing the striking power of their claws. Male lions spend their lives fighting amongst themselves for dominance in the pride. When lions fight, they tend to knock their opponent to the ground and attack the neck or back. They usually hit with one paw in a wide swing that is aimed to clobber their opponent and push it to the ground. Please stay and watch another video with me. Thank you for watching my video. I really enjoy your comments. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.